Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Car Security. Welcome back to the channel. We are here again at Cass HQ for another cars and coffee event. And today's all about hot hatches. And in the car park, we have 60 plus cars. We have a mixture of VAG, we have Ford. Proper mix of hot hatches. As always, I'll take you for a little tour of the car parks, show you some of the cars that are here, and uh, hopefully we'll grab two or three owners and talk about their cars. So guys, let's get into it. Let me give you an idea of what we've got on this side of the car park. So on my left-hand side, we've got a, a Renault Sport 172, which belongs to Harrison, the cameraman, a lovely Astra GTE now. You don't see many of those on the road. Most of those are rotten and dead. So you can see the proper mix of cars. So yeah, this is the first time we've had a hot hatch event here. And we knew it'll be a sellout, and it was a sellout. Plus the weather's on our side today being in June. Now this is a, a lovely Mini Cooper S F56. This, the owner of this car, Hyper, that's his name, is actually a customer of mine for the best part of 25 years. So let's grab him and uh, could talk a little about his car because I've got to say, it does look very special. So let's grab Hyper. So guys, here is Hyper. You saying? I'm good, man. How you doing? I've already introduced you as a customer of, of mine for over 25 years. Right about that. From Tottenham Court Road days. <laughs> so, you know, desk. he looks like he's about 30 years old. So I know you went shopping with me when you were five. So, um, that, wow, stunning, absolutely stunning. And I know you've put a lot of love into this car and I money. I have. All right, so come on, let's start. You've got the bonnet open for a reason. So I have. What's going on here? All right, what you do, everyone loves carbon. The even Turi is where it's at. <laughs> so that's what we've done here. Shout out to even Turi there. Definitely. Um, front end, we've gone, gone for a JCW kit. But what I've done is bought a, a black set. So I have contrast is black a, and red. It's a Cooper S. It's a Cooper S, yep. but a JCW kit. So just okay. a bumper, grill, um, and then splits and spats. Is this the original paint? That's the original paint. It's called Burning Red. Not many cars are made with it. So it's not a JCW normal red. It's a Cooper, um, Cooper Burning Red. What kind of power do you think you're pushing down on this? Not kind, sure, to be fair. You you've got? What, what, all I can say is Golf R has trouble keeping up. <laughs> ooh, ooh, That's what I can say. fired there. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> okay. I think it's down so to the if, remap. If you see him driving around and you've got a Golf R, we need to see that. What we can need I to say? see that. Um, <laughs> static, air? Um, run on air, um, Prazi bags, and airlift management system. Okay, I already knew that, but I wanted him to say that. <laughs> And uh, wheels, what we've got? Um, JP Racing's, nine and a half inch wide, um, 18s, um, tucked under, VAD design, wide arches. They're quite bespoke. So, yeah, so just these are additional arches they that are you've added on? Yes. And going on to the interior. So inside, you can see a lot of carbon fibers added. I've made a spoke, one of a kind, center control holder for my airlift controller. Um, Scully, my main man, been there from day one. <laughs> the carbon fiber steering wheel. Uh, all the gloss back parts, um, sound system upgrade. So we've got the Hertz mid-ranges um, in the doors. I've upgraded all focal all round as well, running three amplifiers, two AJR audios, and a rock pit in the middle. Air tanks are also in there as well. And the custom built speaker box with a shallow You've rock You've done pit. the work yourself, haven't you? All myself. Hat off to him. Exhaust? <laughs> Exhaust from Powerflow um, in Mitcham. It's a 3.5 inch ball into 4.5 inch tip. <laughs> Lovely looking car, and the fact that he's you know a customer of mine for 25 odd years is, is a very long time. Absolutely amazing, mate. Good to see you here. No, thank, thank you very much for coming, guys. If you got a golf R, you see him driving around. Let's see what this man going to be hyped up. Let's see what this car can do. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's uh, let's carry on walking. Obviously, we have our shop GR here, which is going through some mods over the next few weeks new wheels and even Turi air intake uh, will be fitted in that soon uh, one of our customers Salikas a lot of work a lot of time gone into that car but car that caught my eye uh, when it came in was this lovely Mark II Golf which highly modified um, bucket seats no rear seats rear cage lovely lovely stance lovely setup looks looks the part, I love a Mark II Golf. 
Unfortunately, Palmer's not here today, and if he was, he'd be all over this, like a rash R32 Golf there as well. So guys, what do you think of Dougie's Mini? Has been here before, but he's never come in his Mini. He's always rocked up in his uh, classic Merc. And when I heard he's got a Mini, it's like, you need to get it to our show. This is something very special, and hopefully we'll grab Dougie, and he can uh, explain what he's done to this car, because it's a lot of work and a lot of effort that's gone into this car. Now, a car that's been breaking the internet recently is Curtis's Polo. Very, very, very controversial. A one of one with the body kit. I quite like it. A lot of, a lot of effort's gone into making this car look the way it does. We'll grab Curtis and we'll have a, a chat with him and he can tell us briefly, because I can imagine the list is probably endless, of what he's done to this car. How have we ended up here? Well, Briefly, keep it brief. So, so uh, I built it wide bodied before. A body shop owed me like some paint. I'd done a bit of work for them. Right. Um, and then in return, they said they'd paint my car. So, rather than just getting a respray in just a standard car, I just started cutting it up, made some arches for it. These wings are not something you can buy off the shelf. No, no, definitely not. They've been fabbed by you, yeah, one by of, me. One of one either side. Well, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> wow. I actually, I actually made just one side, um, templated it, flipped the templates, and then just made a jigsaw puzzle which doesn't have anything to line up and just. Uh, what a crazy yeah. build! Now, engine-wise, that's no stock engine. So talk to me a little bit about the engine. What, have you done all the work here as well? Yeah, yeah, done all the work apart from um, the paint, uh, the boost pipes and uh, the wire inside of it, because it's an engine swap, but still running on a stock ECU to then work with the dash. Like, you can read codes, everything, how, how you're supposed to. Um, this is on Airlift V2, is it? V2, yeah. yeah Airlift it's just, V2 and wheels? Uh, wheels, Futuras, um, tens all round, but the rears are just barrel flips and had the, bo uh, the barrels polished. That's a lot of just, dish on the back. That's a so lot then, of yeah. dish. And Cage, seats are out of? Uh, Porsche. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, bonnet is removable so you can showcase the engine. Yeah. There's a lot of work that's gone into this car. I'm sure it turns heads wherever it goes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The question for you is where do you go from here? You know, you've broken the internet. Where do you go from here? Get back in the garage and build something else, I think. Well, credit to you, mate. This is. And an, this is an exceptional build. A lot of time, a lot of love, a lot of effort, a lot of money, no doubt, as well. Yeah. Well done. And uh, thank you. No doubt we'll see you again at another show. Yeah, no Thanks problem. Thanks for bringing it down. Thank you Good very match. much, mate. So my friend Hitchens bought three of his uh, Golfs here. He's got his Rally, he's got his Mark I Golf GTI, and he's got his Mark II GTI G60 there. Three lovely cars. This one's already been featured on the channel. We've got a base band lovely bass band which obviously we've had to turn the music off for copyright reasons but let me show you what's in our workshop today now you cannot miss this this Renault 5 GT turbo belongs to Meguiar's uh, it's uh, Tom's car now this car is highly modified obviously you've got a, a dimmer kit I'm not sure if it's factory that I don't know but the heartbeat has been replaced. So the Renault 5 GT turbo engine has been removed out. And instead, Deutsche Tech have installed an engine out of a 182 Cup. So we've got Jazz from WLC, West London Classics. His Mark II Golf is here, on air ride. So we just uh, fitted a Rockford Fosgate 10 inch slimline sub in a custom enclosure. And there's a Rockford Fosgate Prime amplifier. And then I've got my Series 1 Escort RS Turbo out, and yeah, my Renault 5 GT Turbo. Look at, look at the difference between these two cars. This is bog standard. This is highly modified. Proper 80s, 90s, old school hot hatches. This is my era. This is what I grew up on. My, my go-to car back then was a 205 1.9 GTI. Most of my friends were rocking around in Mark 1 Golfs back then. This is very much Ali G-Spec. These aren't very quick cars now. Quick for its time, but compared to modern day stuff like 
some of the golfs and the S3s outside. Leave this standing at the lights. Guys, let me show you what else we've got on this side of the car park. We've got a, a Renault 172 Cup here. Very nice. I think a lot of work has gone into this. Half roll cage, bucket seats, harnesses, probably does track it. Two lovely Fords on air that I believe we bagged. ST200 and a Focus RS. And the ST200 belongs to, is it? Keeley. Keeley. Yep. Hiya. Thanks for coming. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. This is something that we bagged, yeah. your ST200. Yeah. Airlift 3P. Yeah. And uh, what else have we done to the car? Because it's not <laughs> just on air, there's a lot no. going on here. Yeah, so I've got the um, OZ Futuras, which are one of three um, in the UK in Fiesta fitment. Right. Um, and quite a lot of camber on the back to, to get them fit because they're quite wide. That's a lot of camber. Yeah. How are your rear wings? Are they damaged or are they um, surviving? That side is a tiny bit, but other than that, no, not really. And yeah, I've had them for quite a while now and they're surviving. Stock um, engine? Uh, it's remapped to 230 brake, so yeah, it was a dyno tune by my dad. <laughs> and um, I've got custom heart halo headlights as well. Nice little touch there. I yeah. just noticed them now, actually. Yeah, yeah, nice they're little really touch. nice. And audio-wise? Um, yeah, I have a JBL sub in the back um, and a tiny little like boot builder added on to what you guys did as well, because I just had lovely. a basic one done when it was fitted. It's fantastic to see it, yeah. It's, uh, and that's your boyfriend's car, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's my boyfriend's car, yeah. Focus RS again on uh, airlift. Um, but yeah, two fantastic, great looking cars. Thank you for coming down. Yeah. Appreciate you bringing it. Thank and you. No doubt we'll see you again at another event. Yeah, thanks. It's nice to host something a little bit different and probably a little bit younger crowd today, sort of, I would say the average age, probably about 25. So I'm really bringing up the average age here. Some of the cars on this side again, we've got another Mark II uh, GTI 16 valve there. Pretty rare, Peugeot 306 GTI 6. There's not many of these about. Lovely color as well. Um, R32 Golf, we've already featured this on the channel. I think Palm featured it last year when we did our VAG Cars and Coffee event. Focus ST, ST200 again, and a Vauxhall Adam. Don't see many of them on the road. Um, so yeah, really good mix of cars there. Lovely new shape Civic here. Looks quite menacing just parked there and probably he's done nothing to this. I may be wrong. Good looking cars these. Guys, we've shown you a lot of hot hatches today. Now, which is the hot hatch of the event for you? For me, it's gotta be Dougie's Mini. Now, I think this started life as a 1275. It's probably best part of 50 years old. The last time I went out in a Mini, I was probably 20 years old, so that's a long time ago. You know what, let's grab Dougie. Let's go for a drive in Dougie's car. And let's find out what he's done to it, because this thing must be an animal on the road. Right, guys, we are here with Dougie. All right. Yep, and normally when we see Dougie, we see him in his gorgeous W108. Yeah. But today, he's decided to bring something different to our hot hatch event. And I never knew this car existed, not in his fleet anyway. Yeah. And this is no standard Mini 1275 GT, is it? No. This was my grandfather's uh, 1972 Mini. I actually got it when I was 15. I then passed my test in it when I was 17. Um, so it's been in the family ever since. We, me and a couple of mates, rebuilt this in 2008. Got it in the road 2009, 2010, drove it around. Um, I've actually not driven it any length for the last 10 years. I drove it here, yeah. survived. Yeah. Right, let's start it, let's go for a drive. So it's a two litre Vauxhall engine. Two litre 16 valve Vauxhall. So again, we talk about hot hatches. 
Uh, it's running 220 horsepower on, thro on throttle bodies. Um, car weighs 600, 620 kilograms. It's nothing. So power to weight ratio is off the scale. So can you imagine that Astra GT is probably a ton, give or take, 1100 yep. kilograms. Yep. Yep. So this is two thirds of the weight. Uh, we'll go left, two go thirds left. of the weight with more power. Yeah. I'm going to strap myself in. <laughs> I knew this would be quick, but not that quick. Sounds gaudy. Oh, wow. So wow. Back, in, back in the day, this engine in Astro GT was known for being the torque steer engine. Yeah. Basically, you've got one drive shaft that length, one drive shaft that length. Exaggerates torque steer, no end. I then add an extra 70 horsepower to the original engine. Yeah. And then add 8 by 13 inch revolution split inch wheels. One inch spacer, cuts links, 10 inch steering wheel and electric power steering. So I do everything to make it torque steer even more. What's the suspension? Th there is no suspension. It's basically a solid block of rubber. You can feel it. Yeah. Everything, you know, your whole bone. Yeah. Your, every, your bones, everything, your body's taking that impact yeah. of the suspension. Adjustable shock absorbers and stuff, but again, what are they actually doing? They're, they're not really doing much to it. Back in the day, we would have bought one on a Friday night for 50 quid to get the, gear, <laughs> to get the gearbox out of it, yeah. scrapped everything but the gearbox come the Saturday and put the gearbox in this to drive it on the Saturday night. So why don't we take a left here and then Just maybe swap. pull over and I'll swap. Yeah. Once you're in, you're in, isn't it? Yeah. You, you, you go nowhere. And these seats are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Full roll cage. Full roll cage. Carbon interior. Now this is this is something you've fabricated yourself. Yeah. So a friend of mine, he builds helicopter cockpits. So all the carbon is bespoke. It's all real carbon. It's bouncing around all over the place. Brakes are as good as you get in a 1972 Mini. <laughs> They talk, about, around everywhere. they talk about feedback through the steering wheel yeah. something. You get feedback through the steering wheel, your arse, your ears, your nose, you get everything. It, this is raw. I was unsure about the size of the steering wheel, but actually it, it works. works now for the mm. car. Because the car is so small, yeah. you wouldn't really want a big, yeah. cumbersome steering wheel. That noise is intoxicating. Those throttle bodies are something else. Yeah. <laughs> Special. I get a lot of pleasure out of driving some really cool cars, some really fast cars. But this is just on another level. And it's, you know, brought a smile to my face that I've not had in ages. And I think that's the great thing about cars like this. It is a proper little go-kart. Um, well, that's what they're known for back in the day. you bringing it down thanks for watching as always make sure you smash that like button um, give Dougie a follow his details are on the screen and uh, hopefully I'll see you again on the channel soon but wow this car is just something else